All right, so after thinking about it for a bit, I realized a month is a really long time. If we crack it open in a month, we're not gonna know at what point it degraded. So three days in, let's crack it open, see what happens. Worst case scenario, there's no degradation. I seal it up again and we check it again in a bit. Best case, it has all started to fuse together into some Lovecraftian mess. <laughs> let's pop it open now. And if everything has melted together in three days, then we're just going to have to come up with a new experiment, melt some more teeny weenies, and see if we can figure out what time period of silicone lube to silicone toy touching degrades it. Yes, word, science, mwahaha. All right, fine. So I'm gonna pop my jacket off, set this down, open this up, and we're gonna see what's going on inside. All right, so here's our jar, originally assembled 23rd April, 2019. It is currently 26 April 2019. Let's see what's happening inside. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. It looks like some of the teeny weenies have actually swelled up. So, first off, our Winston's tongue from Bad Dragon. It's a little slimy. The silicone lube has gotten thicker, but there doesn't seem to be any actual degradation of the silicone toy. Next is our skull from Voodoo Kudu, from Kudu Voodoo, my bad. Again, there's a little bit of thickness. It looks like some of the very thin silicone around the fringes may be degrading slightly. Texture is still what I would expect. I'm not willing to call that degradation. And the gear still feels solid. The silicone does appear much thicker than it was when we initially put it in. There is no longer any liquid silicone in the jar. So tentatively, I'm willing to say that I think there is degradation happening. I do not think it's happening super quickly. Ah, this is disgusting. Bloody hell. So, yes, there's something going on with the silicone. Definitely. I don't know what it is. I'm not sure I'm willing to take it all the way to... Oh god, getting this tongue in here is going to be... Oh God, go. Oh, that's gross. That is. Okay, so something is definitely happening because these toys are, the silicone bits are much larger than they were when I put them in the first time. It's almost as though they're soaking up the silicone that I put in. And if you look at the consistency on my fingers, much, much thicker than it was when we started. It's viscous in a way that pure silicone isn't. So I should have done that with gloves on. That was disgusting. Because see, pure silicone, the actual, it's watery. It comes out super thin. Nowhere near like what we're dealing with here. So. I am, for the sake of fuck it, let's go for broke, going to put the lid back on these, let them hang out in their disgusting silicone lube goo setup, and we're going to check back in a bit and see uh, how much worse it gets, huh? <laughs> okay, so tentative answer. I am willing to pause it that silicone lube does have adverse effects on silicone toys. It's clearly not you put silicone lube on your silicone toy and it's immediately going to melt because otherwise three days in an airtight confinement with a shit ton of lube would have melted those into a gooey, unredeemable mess. I'm not willing to use silicone lube on my toys, having seen that response. I'm willing to bet that the longer we leave it, the worse it's going to get. So, 
If you have to use silicone lube on a silicone toy, wash it thoroughly as soon as possible. I think that's like the risk aware variant of this. Tentative conclusion, yeah, silicone is bad for silicone toys. Don't do it. Uh, we're going to check back in in a bit and see how much worse it gets. Huzzah. And also, because I forgot, I did get a comment that I wanted to respond to, but I did not have the time to do all that typing. So, one of my followers mentioned, No offense intended, but putting the date on the jar without the time doesn't help, and your experiment is not being done under natural circumstances. If you're using silicone lubricant on a silicone dildo to masturbate, the silicone lubri lubricant will only be on the dildo long enough for you to finish masturbating and then wash off. So putting these silicone pieces tightly in a closed jar and submerging them in silicone lubricant is a major case of overkill. Correct. If I was doing a by the hour experiment, I would have wanted to put the date and the time. Given that this experiment was meant to be done in terms of days, knowing whether I put it in at 9 a.m. or 2 p.m. really doesn't matter. Of course, my experiment is not being done under natural circumstances. Currently, I'm not interested in will normal use of silicone lube degrade a silicone toy. I am interested in will silicone degrade silicone toys. While those questions sound very similar, they're actually completely different. I want to know full stop, does it degrade? The easiest way to find out if something does or does not degrade is to put it into a full contact environment, basically. So yes, a lot of silicone touching one another, touching a lot of lube. If it was going to degrade, this would be the environment in which it would do so. A better way to have tested the silicone pieces you used would have been to put some silicone lubricant all over each of them or put them in separate jars covered with silicone and check each of them hourly. It sounds like you have the basis for a very good experiment that you should do on your own time. My experiment does not have that level of specificity or finesse because that's not the result I'm looking for. With all of these pieces jammed tightly together and submerged in silicone lubricant in that glass jar, you have no way of telling if the deterioration of one might be accelerating, lessening, or otherwise affecting the deterioration of the others. Correct. I don't care if one is affecting the deterioration of the others. I want to know if, full stop, one will cause the deterioration. Will the lube deteriorate the silicone scraps? I'm going to work backward. I'm going for worst case and coming back. Your experiment, the way that that is planned out, is meant to be a, we are going from zero to figure out at what point silicone degrades. I'm going from, does silicone degrade, and then we'll walk the experiment back. It's just a different methodology. I hope you will see what I've written here as constructive criticism. It wasn't meant to insult you or hurt your feelings. If I got fussed over the opinions of old white dudes when I do science, I wouldn't have gotten my degree. Is what it is. If I was doing this in a lab setup with some actual grant money online, I'd be doing a way different experiment. It, it's not that serious, dude. Like, and because I forgot, because I was very excited with my science and my comments and stuff, if you like what I do, Subscribe, like, hang out, leave comments. I really enjoy the comments. I really enjoy about 45% of the comments I get. The others are currently being screenshotted and compiled, and there's going to be a whole reaction video. But, you know, this is fun. I enjoy this. This is a great break from how serious the rest of my videos are. So, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for being here. Like, subscribe. Bye, guys.